What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Golden83, and I am here to do an energy shout out for random sign selection. Um, hopefully, you guys are doing well. Uh, remember, you guys, these are general messages, not personal. So take what resonates and pass the rest to the next, okay? So let's go ahead and get the singing bowl. I'm going to pick a random sign out. Um, and let's see who gets the energy shout out next. Looks like we have the sign of Leo's. Okay, Leo's, you guys are up for the next energy shout out today. Okay, um, hopefully you guys are doing well. Like I said, there will be some changes. Your girl's been on a break, um, but I will be back with regular readings um, in February. Okay. Um, February 7th, I believe. All right. Um, I do have a community post now. So if you like, you can go on my channel and check out the community post. And I'll have some updates regarding the channel on there. Okay. Um, but energy shout out, if you're not familiar, is just to see where your energy is right now. Um, happy 2023 to you guys. Happy New Year. Um, and so we're going to start off with the energy oracle first to see where your energy is, okay? So I usually do three shuffles and then cut by threes. And we'll refer to the bottom of the deck for all three decks, okay? So let's see what we have once we cut. Okay. And so, Leo's at the bottom of the deck, we have indecision, okay? Indecision, number eight, calling for some form of balance, okay? Um, especially when you have indecision, okay? You have this person standing kind of like in a fork in the middle of the road. There's one side, a left and a right, okay? A red cloak here, okay? Um, both say unknown on the signs, okay? And you have some leaves falling around the person in, in the fork, okay? And it almost feels like in the tree in the middle is kind of like some form of energy in the middle of the tree, okay? Kind of like, a, almost like a decision maker, if you will, is what I'm seeing within the tree that this person is looking at can't don't know if you guys can see it but nonetheless okay feels like you're probably indecisive about something okay about which way you should go um whether it's in reference to a career or maybe a possible connection if you will okay um the red cloak with the person's back um to you know kind of facing towards feels like um maybe not really knowing who you are anymore okay um maybe you did some changing if you will um from who you used to be to who you are now okay um and so kind of cloaked in the sense of not wanting people to maybe see you so there could be some isolation possibly of some sort okay of trying to find maybe what your new passion is okay as it is a red cloak um so i'm taking that to kind of involve your root chakra possibly um needing to ground yourself in making a decision okay so let's go into the book here to see and there is a affirmation that i'll read for you guys as well you do have cornucopia at the bottom um, up underneath number 11 okay which means some form of enlightenment to come okay um, and whatever choice you do decide to make hopefully it be the right one um, it will be something that will be very fruitful and possibly full of abundance but more so in the sense of enlightenment okay so uh, you're not too far away from the decision that you need to make okay so uh, Indecision says which choice to make. This card marks the presence of two or more possible choices in your life. 
It shows you anxiously looking at two roads, wondering which would be the better choice. Okay, that's Captain Obvious, okay? You are standing still, feeling confused by the up and down emotions of your present indecision, okay? You could spend days, months, or even years in this back and forth energy, all the while feeling your focus and your life force energy draining away. This indecision indicates a paralysis of will, one that can keep you stuck while you're waiting to be certain about the results of your choice, okay? It's time to let go of the analysis and self-doubt and have been that have been keeping you stuck. Meditate on your options and see where your spirit guides you. Consider which direction resonates with you most, both in the process and in the goal. Follow your heart and make the honoring choice, okay? So Leos, you possibly have a tendency of doing this, okay? Um, occasionally, possibly depends on what's in your birth chart, okay? Um, but you have or have been having the tendency of, well, if I do this, this is what will possibly happen. But if I do this, this will be more uh, beneficial to me, okay? And sometimes you may have a tendency of moving in an opportunistic type of way, okay? Um, and then later regretting said choice, okay? So um, that could be a possibility where you're at right now where either you're going to regret a choice or you already regret a choice that you made, okay? Um, and possibly getting some enlightenment based off of the choice that you've already uh, made for yourself. The affirmation for this is I release fear and move forward with courage and trust. I have the power to direct my own destiny now and always, okay? I release fear and move forward with courage and trust. I have the power to direct my own destiny now and always, okay? So like it said, meditate on your options and see where your spirit guides you, okay? Don't think so much into the probability. Think of what um, or how you feel about each choice, okay? If something is giving you anxiety in regards of doing it, then it's possibly not ready for you to make that decision in regards to that particular choice, okay? Um, if it's in reference to, you know, a particular passion of yours, um, I would suggest kind of doing a heart chakra meditation um, along with maybe a root chakra meditation separately. Um, you could possibly use the Ignite My Passion a spiritual bath that I have on my Etsy shop. You can go on my about me page and get the link there. Um, something else that could possibly help you is possibly one of the body oils that I have as well, um, such as the I Am Strong or the All Right body oil, meditation oil would be helpful as far as your empathy towards yourself and making the decision, okay? Um, that I am strong is just to, you know, reaffirm you that you, whatever, you know, characteristic you're trying to embody, such as being strong um, and grounded and creativity in regards to if it is for work um, type situations, I am strong is a unisex scent. Um, along with the all right scent as well, okay? Um, but you can go on my Etsy shop and drop down on the item details so you can find out um, how that can be useful to you, okay? So we're going to go into your crystal of assistance here, bottom of the deck, if you are metaphysical um, and deal with any crystal work for your meditations. This crystal that's selected for you could uh, be useful to you. Okay. So you have the chrysophase, chrysophase, very beautiful. Okay. Kind of green in an aspect here. Okay. Chrysophase, let me turn it over. C H R Y S O P R A S E. Okay. Chrysophase. Uh, hypnotic green chrysophase is a rare stone with a heavy helping of nickel, hence its mesmerizing 
verdant hue, okay? Those who need it are explorers searching for the fountain of youth, okay? Um, where to put it is squeeze chrysophase against your heart and tell your inner child how much you love them. Then cry forever, okay? So you could need to get some emotional angst out, okay, in regards to whatever decision it is you're trying to make, okay? Um, it could deal with connections of some sort, um, but I'm, I'm feeling more of maybe some inner workings that need to be done, um, maybe emotionally, okay? Maybe, like I said, some form of regret on choices that you've made in the past, okay? So you should use this when it's time to forgive that person who hurt you the most, okay? Your parents and most of all yourself. You are not a doormat. You are an evolved being. When you feel like giving up on love, chrysophase gives you the green light to keep going. Grow from your heart out, okay? Grow from your heart out, okay? So again, like I said, it feels like Leos, you guys have made either made a decision or about to make a decision um, and you're trying to make sure it's not one that you regret, okay? Um, if it is in love, it could be an indecision based on the fact that you want to keep trying or you're fearful of being alone, possibly, okay? Um, but you have to ask yourself, is it worth it being still connected to someone, okay? Um, if you're not getting what you want out of that relation said relationship, then it's possibly time to move on if that person is not willing to meet you halfway, okay? Um, it just all depends on where you're understanding is on both sides between you and that person okay again this could be for a multitude of leos um take what resonates and pass the rest okay we're going to get into your daily message to wrap up your reading leos okay which is just a, another message of support okay and we'll do the same no matter how small, I still go ahead and I shuffle just the same as any other deck. We'll go and refer to the bottom card for your daily message. Which says, distinguish the importance of your inner spiritual work from outer success. Okay. Distinguish the importance of your inner spiritual work from outer success, okay? So make sure you focus on the importance of inner spiritual work, okay? Thus this chrysophase along with, you know, this kind of indirect reminder of this indecision that you have right now, okay? Enlightenment is coming, okay, as you take the time to do that inner spiritual work, okay? Um, and then, you know, from your outer successes, okay? And so those are two separate realms, okay? Inner and outer work. And as you work on your inner self, the good in which you achieve within projects outward, okay, to that outer success, okay? So being empathetic can easily revert out to those around you or just in your environment, period, okay? Um, and start off somewhere small. If you're living in chaos on the inside, you could have chaos outside of you, okay? So if you let your house kind of get out of, you know, disarray, start organizing, getting rid of stuff, organizing things where they properly belong, and then, you know, the inside does the same, okay? Um, and it just starts off as something as simple as that and then evolves into something else, okay? But you do have enlightenment around the corner once you do make the decision that's necessary for you to make, okay? So Leos, that's all that I have for you guys today. Like I said, I'll be back in February with regular readings. Um, but until then, peace.